Oh. Oh. Right, four in the morning. Oh, Jesus, right. Bien a coolest, a coolest. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I really don't know, but let's go. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's 4.40 in the morning. 4.40 in the morning and we've got our breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, always get it, and we're at the petrol station. I was actually gonna, I was gonna show you me getting fuel, but I think that's pretty much how every single vlog starts. So I thought, you know what? We'll skip it today. <laughs> it's looking like a clear night. It's looking pretty nice. Hopefully we get that sunrise we're after and it's about a two hour drive there. So let's go. That is me just driven past the Green Welly at the moment. It looks like an incredible day. I'm literally chasing the sunrise. I'm not so sure if you can see to my right at the moment, but it's getting really light. It's really, really clear. It looks like a really sort of cold morning frost over the grass, which looks amazing. So I'm really, really excited. Look at this view. We have arrived at the famous, iconic Bothy over to my right. You guys will see the big, massive mountain behind us. And actually where we're going is up there. That's where we're going and we'll have an amazing view of whatever that one's called, can't remember at the moment. And this road in this morning is fantastic. The frost is like low lying fog, nice frost scattered. And there must have been a dump of snow because this white snow on the hills was not here last week. So I'm actually really excited. I've been having a creative drought recently and I think that this will really help just getting back out, getting back into the world. And oh my God, I mean, look at this place. I mean, <laughs> look at it. Whew. I've got to say, it is a really boggy ascent so far. It's like proper thick mud. My boots are sliding right into it. You guys see the sun just starting to appear in these two, just touching the top just here. The view is absolutely stunning. This is super frustrating. I know that on the other side of that hill there's an amazing view waiting, but it's actually bigger than I thought. And if you think about it, same level as that, so it's pretty big. Ooh, look at that. Look really closely, you can see my car just there. Ooh, it's been a long way so far, that to go. And my fitness has dwindled since COVID, I'm not gonna lie. I need to get back on the running ground because this is taking out of me. I believe we're on the final stretch, right? Here, look behind me, by the way. Look at that. Like, I didn't even know that existed. What is that called? Because I want to go there as well. I feel like everyone sticks to the road they know of this bit, but behind us is just as beautiful as in front. So that is definitely an area I'm going to explore next time. Look at this. Wow, that is incredible. It's actually starting to snow around me a wee bit. So uh, the top is just there. But at the moment, I'm gonna get the drone up because I'm like, oh. <laughs> Just used up a full battery in the drone. It's really cold now, my hands are freezing, but I've got the hand warmers to the rescue. And the sun is out, look at this. Wow, just wow. So we're gonna finish this in like half an hour, but I'm just gonna enjoy it, get as many photos as I can. All my photos will be featured on my Instagram, as usual, at HP Lifelines. If you wanna 
follow that and follow the journey and see where I go. I'll link it below for you as well. I've had to put on a buff because it's like minus four and my nose is gonna fall off. It's so cold, but the views behind me are amazing and it's just up this ridge here. So guys, almost there. But on a side note, I want to thank you guys so much. We've hit 50K on TikTok, which is incredible. We've hit almost 12K on Instagram and we've got over 2,300 subscribers now, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much for building this incredible community, supporting Scotland and travel in general and photography, videography. It means the world to me and I'm gonna get back to this now because it's killing me. <laughs> See guys, this is this is harder than I thought. I mean, it's not that difficult, but it just doesn't stop. Like there's been like three or four false summits. Um, I think this is it, but I don't want to say it because if I get to the top and it's not, I'll be upset. So, oh my God. But we'll just keep going. Amazing hike so far. We're so close yet so far. There it is, the top. Woo. We've done it guys. Look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just, yes. Look, we have made it to the top and this is incredible. You guys have to see this, look at this. Guys, I've really, really fucked this. My controller is out of charge. My drone is just flying about randomly in the wind. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, thank God. Oh, I honestly thought that was a goner. I'm gonna squat beside this rock so you guys can hear me. The controller for my drone just cut out of charge and I tried to land it, bring it home. The drone just went straight up in the air, flew for like way away and I was like, oh my God, that's it, gone. Like. I'm never getting it back. And then all of a sudden, like, I kept hearing, worrying of their propellers. And it landed like right beside me. It's absolutely nuts. Just so you guys know how cold it is, I'm, I'm crouching so you guys can hear me. That's my water bottle and it's frozen. I can hardly drink out of it, it's just ice. So <laughs> there's rain clouds coming in, so I'm gonna work my way back down. Hopefully my remote control, I think it's just because it's cold and it just lost charge. Hopefully it, uh, it gets warmer and I can get the drone off again. But let's go. It's pretty good walking back in the snow because you can just kind of like follow your footprints. <laughs> it's funny, I think I had the same problem when I went up bench up here or however you say it with Emily. The Monroe I went up, I'll link that up the top right if you guys want to see that, but I had the same problem with the batteries. I think it just gets too cold and then it just goes, nope, bye. And it just turns off, which is really frustrating. So we're on the way down. It's a nice walk at the moment. The wind's picking up. I can see rain clouds coming in, so I'm gonna gonna pace this back down. And then we're gonna get hopefully some more nice photos in the in the valley in Glen Cove, and then we're gonna go home. What a difference! It is sunny. The birds are singing. The wind is more or less died off. It's a beautiful day. I might get a burn. Jesus, right? I've taken a couple of photos of this which looks incredible. So I will be featuring them on my Instagram. I'll link that below for you guys. And now we have the final descent. 
to the car. Whew, the Ascent is fully on the way right now. I'm lower, it's nice and warm. I can relax a bit. And I'm just gonna say, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, if you could hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, it'd really appreciate it. It really, really helps me in what I'm doing. And I'd love you guys forever. You know, we're building a community here. We're building a community of Scots that can help each other or travelers, photographers. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you, see you, see you at the car. Hey guys, I'm gonna be really, really quiet because there's a deer up ahead. I wanna see if I can get it in the camera, but it's just gone behind the ridge just in front of me. Do you guys see it just there? You know, people keep asking me about why I do the things I do, why I do the the hills and the Monroes and the mountains and climb and see different places and do photography and videography and I think part of it is because I love videography and photography. It's been my passion for years, it's all always has been. But part of it is just like you see stuff like this, there's nobody around, it's quiet, you can actually think, there's no technology, you're not on your phone, you're not on TikTok, you're not swiping through. It's just peaceful. Like I think that's the word I would describe it, it's just peaceful. Guys, look at this. Look at this. What? Woo. Woo. That was me finally back in the car. What an incredible trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'd love you forever, and I will see you next time.